Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Chromebook 3100 laptop. I'm gonna take you on a brief teardown or disassembly tour so you can see the main components inside the computer. I will also have the replacement components for this computer. I'll have a link below where you can find those. Also FAQs in the description. So if you have any questions, it could save you some time getting an answer. So first thing you wanna do guys, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. Then we're gonna flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Okay, so to take the bottom case off, you have three screws on this side, three screws here, one screw there, and two screws here. So we're gonna go across and take all those out. One thing of note guys, most of these screws are held in by washers so they're not going to actually come out um, just so you don't waste time trying to pull those up. After the screws are undone, I'm going to take my small metal pry tool and go around the seam and, and take off this bottom case. Okay, so that comes off pretty easily. There's nothing really on the bottom of that. So we'll, we'll put that aside. After you take your bottom case up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. So to get the battery up, there's a screw there, there's a screw here, and then the battery plugs in right there. So I'll take out those screws first. This battery plugs pretty easy. You just grab this black tab and you pull down toward the battery and that unplugs. There's a little black piece of tape right there that's holding the battery down, so that needs to come up. So that was also some double-sided tape right there that was holding your battery down. Uh, but after you get that battery up, that's what you're looking at for a battery. Your speakers are right here. Uh, it doesn't look like any screws are holding them down. The wires come down here and it plugs into the motherboard there. So to get your speaker up, yeah, you just pull it right off of that right there. No, uh, no screws are holding it down. Same thing with this one. This just comes right up. Uh, if it weren't for the wires, you'd unrun these wires. And then that speaker plug, um, as with most things, guys, don't pull on the wires. You could damage it. Um, there's a white port, and you'll notice two grips on either side. You can use your fingernails, or you can use a pry tool. Um, but you can get that out by just sliding that down like that. So that's how you would unplug your speakers. Looks like your Wi-Fi card is integrated into the motherboard. These are your antenna wire that usually snap onto the Wi-Fi card and they're snapping on right there. So that's your integrated Wi-Fi card in the motherboard. Okay, so the next thing guys, this uh, touchpad assembly down here. This is your touchpad ribbon cable that comes up and plugs into your motherboard. After unscrewing these three screws, that will release this metal guard. And then these three screws will release this plastic one. You'll be able to get your touchpad up. To unplug this type of ribbon cable, you're gonna need a small flat plastic pry tool and that black clip right there that's holding down the, uh, the ribbon cable, you're gonna put your pry tool under it very gently and pop it up. And then that way the ribbon cable can come out. Be very careful with that black clip because if you break that, you probably won't be able to find a replacement and then your ribbon cable won't be able to um, secure down correctly. So be very careful when you're gently popping that up. It, it opens like a book cover on, on those gold or brass hinges. So be very careful when you're popping that up. And then when you put the ribbon cable back in, be equally as careful. You don't wanna damage it. The keyboard ribbon cable is here. It's a different kind of connector. You'll notice there's two black uh, grips on either side. We're gonna slide those down toward the ribbon cable one at a time, and that releases your ribbon cable. And then it slides out like that. So to put it back in, you would make sure those are out, slide that in, and then push the black connectors up towards the motherboard, and that secures it in. This is your LCD cable that comes down here. On, on top of this, you would unscrew this to get that ribbon cable out, and then your motherboard, after all these things are unplugged, your antenna wires, your ribbon cables, your speaker wire, after all these things are unplugged, you'll be able to get the motherboard out. Okay, so that's a quick tour of the inside of a 3100. Again, if you had any questions, check out the FAQs. It could save you some time waiting on an answer, but if you do need to leave me a question or a comment, I will try to get back to those at least a couple times a day. I also have, again, uh, replacement parts 
and tools that you could use for your computer project, a link below to my Amazon store if you need suggestions for any of that. So thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.